Hello everybody, this is Jody DeGroat coming to you from the Albert Wisner Public Library in Warwick, New York. This is another uh, Library for All program. Today we're going to do Rainbow Fish. And we're going to start off reading the Rainbow Fish story by Marcus Pfister. And it is published by North-South. <clears throat> a long way out in the deep blue sea there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are, cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. I hope you enjoyed that story. We're now going to do a craft, a rainbow fish craft. Okay, so I printed this off of the internet. And, um, you know, for this program, I will have a, um, a place where you can go to print out this picture. 
um, what I've done is I've taken some tin foil, okay? And you're just going to take some small pieces. Some of them can be bigger. Some of them can be smaller. And on the side that's not quite as shiny, you're going to put a little bit of glue and you're going to paste it on to the fish. And then once you paste it on, you can either use a marker or you can use a crayon and you're going to color in the scale like so. And I'll show you how it looks with both the crayon and the marker. And you can decide which you like better, but it works really well with crayon. Okay, and we'll put one up there. And then we'll take this and We'll just go over that. Yeah. And so then what you're going to do is you don't have to put all, um, you can't make, you don't have to make all of them shiny. Um, and then what you can do is you can go ahead and you can color in the rest of your fish. And you can end up with something like this. You can be creative. You can do it just like it is in the book. Um, I did it a little bit different, but like I said, you can use what other co whatever colors you would like. But um, this way, then you have a nice shiny rainbow fish all your own. I hope you enjoy doing that craft. It just came out so nice. And, um, you know, I just really hope that you enjoy it. I'm going to now read another book by Marcus Pfister. It's Good Night, Little Rainbow Fish. It's also published by North South. The little rainbow fish couldn't sleep. His eyes simply wouldn't close. He tossed and turned in his watery bed of plants. I can't get to sleep, moaned little rainbow fish. What's the trouble, darling, asked mommy. It's so dark. Don't be afraid, said Bommy. I'll send for the lantern fish. He'll shine his light for you until you fall asleep. Good night, little rainbow fish. Could you stay with me for a while, Mommy? I'll never leave your side, darling. Promise. Cross my rainbow heart. But suppose the tide comes and takes me away. Then I'll follow you faster than a swordfish can swim and bring you safely home again. And suppose I lose my way in an octopus's cloud of ink. Then I'll search for you, blow away the black cloud, and take you home. And suppose a monster fish comes to gobble me up. Then the monster fish will have to face me first, and I'll give him such a fright that he'll swim away and never come back. And suppose I get caught in the arms of a poisonous jellyfish. Then I'll nurse you until you're well again, and the jellyfish will get a nasty surprise. And suppose I have a bad dream tonight, then I'll take you in my fins and hold you very, very tight. Good night, darling. Good night, Mommy, murmured little rainbow fish. And then he happily fell asleep. I hope you enjoyed this Library for All program. Again, this is Jody DeGroat coming to you from the Albert Wisner Public Library in Warwick, New York. I hope you all stay well, stay safe, and take care.